guys, so I'm finally doing my verses. Ah, man, this took me a lot longer than I thought it would be, but I wanted to fully test the beauty of Josen before I did a full verses on them. And then I kind of, after that, I kind of started to struggle because I have so many rice toners. I thought, oh, maybe I should do a series. And then uh, I didn't. So I kind of did a verse of these two, but I'll do a verses of any of the other ones as well. Um, and before anybody says anything, they're gonna, you guys are gonna say, somebody's gonna say, oh, it looks like you barely tried the one from I'm From. This is my third bottle of it, okay? So keep that in mind. Somebody will still say it. The other day I did a, I did a video mentioning a bunch of different stuff and like, they're like, it looks like you haven't used any of them. I'm like, well, that's because I've repurchased this one. This is like my third bottle of this, my eighth bottle of this. I haven't finished them all because I'm on my hundredth bottle of it. So it looks new anyway. Okay, so verses. So I'm going to start off with a little bit about the beauty of Josen. I'll link to these below. So they say this moisturizing infused toner, toner infused with rice extract and rice derived amino acids combat skin dryness for plump and radiant finish. Formulated with sebum controlling powder that ex effectively absorbs excess oil and purifies pores. Comes in a light refreshing formula that penetrates deeply into skin without leaving any greasy feeling and suitable for all skin types, including sensitive skin. Okay, next up, the I'm From. Packed with 77% Gomi rice extracts, this hydrating toner provides anti-wrinkle and brightening care while delivering moisturizing benefits. Other key ingredients include rice bran extract, amaranthus cadatus extract, and purslane extract, which provide nourishing and soothing effects. Formula treats skin concerns such as dry or fatigued skin, as well as anti-aging and fine lines. Suitable for various skin types, including sensitive skin. Man, it sounds like they're almost written by the same person. Is that po That could be possible, I guess. I'm guessing somebody that does marketing for some of these brands, I mean, they earn their money because when it comes to skincare these days, most of it comes down to marketing. Not always, but a lot of it does, which is why they send so many free, so much free crap out to everybody to get them to comment on it, you know? Anyway. And nowadays you can't look at a Sephora product without seeing 500 incentivized reviews. So, okay, on to the verses. So my first criteria is packaging. They're both plastic bottles. That's it, nothing too exciting. They're both plastic. They both have the expiration date on the bottom. So no issues with that. In terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, neither of them contain any of that. It's also, they're both also fragrance free and have no real noticeable scent, which is nice and they're both manufactured in Korea. So right off the bat, they all get ties right off the bat. So the first four points are kind of not exciting, but one of these is gonna be a clear winner. So let's get to the next, next criteria, which is ease of use. So these are both dual phase toners. Uh, this one has been shaken, so you can't really tell too much, but they're both, you wanna shake them up before using them. You can use them both in your morning or evening routines. You can apply them both with a cotton pad or you could pat them onto your skin. No issues with that. So here's a little bit of the um, Beauty of Josen one. Takes a little bit of time to soak in, but nice watery texture. And the I'm From. There we go. There we go. So you can kind of see them both. The Beauty of Josen certainly has more of a shiny finish once it soaks in. So, uh, yeah, okay. So you can apply them both with a cotton pad or pat it on. Typically in my morning routine, I'll pat this on and typically in my evening routine, I'll use a cotton pad. Um, so the beauty of Josen soaks in nicely, but it does set to a slightly tacky finish once it soaks in and also a radiant finish, which is slightly shiny. So if you don't prefer shiny or radiant finish in your morning routine, this might not be the one for you. Uh, the I'm From soaks in well once soaked in. It sets to kind of a natural finish, I would say, that is non-tacky. So I'll give these both a second to soak in, but if tackiness is a big deal, the I'm From is gonna be much less tacky. So keep that in mind. If tackiness isn't your issue and you're looking for something kind of with a more radiant finish, B of Josen's probably good for you. In my opinion, I prefer the I'm From just a little bit because it's less tacky and I like the finish a little bit more once it sets. So yeah, so there we go. But the Bee of Josen definitely is much, much shinier. Okay, let's see, next up. So the I'm From has one point ahead of Beauty of Josen, but we've got 
much more to talk about. Okay, price. So, actually, right now on Yes Style, the um, B of Josen is 18 bucks and the Iron Firm is 18 20 However, if you don't get them on sale, the uh, B of Josen is about $25 and the I'm From is about $28. So, they're both right now pretty similar in price. There's not really a huge difference, but B of Josen is just barely, just a touch more affordable when it's not on sale or and when it's on sale. So I gave them the point. So it's a tie there. Um, in terms of beneficial ingredients, so the Beauty of Josen has 16 total beneficial ingredients. We've got pantanol, hydroethyl urea, kaolin, rice extract, licorice root, hydrogen and lecithin, Japanese gold thread, almond extract, amaranthus extract, fig extract, centella, cocoa, uh, ceramide, vitamin E, sodium hyaluronate and rice amino acids. So it's got 16 beneficial ingredients. The uh, I'm From has rice extract, niacinamide, purslane, uh, rice bran extract, almus extract, amaranthus extract, hydrogenated lecithin, and adenosine. So eight total beneficial ingredients. That being said, I mean, Vita Josen gets this point. However, Bee of Josen may have more beneficial ingredients. However, the first seven ingredients in the Bee of Josen are all slip ingredients. Rice is finally falls in somewhere in the first third of the ingredients. However, the I'm from, the rice extract is the first ingredient and the main ingredient in it. So at that point, typically I just judge them on how many nice beneficial ingredients they have. And I'll give Bee of Josen this point. However, if um, the actual amount of the active ingredient is a big deal. The I'm From has more and it's their first ingredient. And honestly, it seems like Beat of Josen picked up, picked up a lot of what I'm From used in theirs because they share a lot of similar ingredients. And uh, the I'm From has been around you know, for much, much longer. They both have the um, hydrogenated lecithin. They both have the rice extract. They both have almus extract. They both have the amaranthus extract. So... But overall, I guess Beauty of Josen gets his point, but it's kind of barely. Okay, now that they've both soaked in, there you go. Okay, so Beauty of Josen is currently in the lead in terms of performance. So Beauty of Josen, nicely hydrated and soothing. In my opinion, it's probably best for dry to very dry skin types. Um, they say this one helps with pores, but it, it can't, it doesn't, it won't. It may absorb oil a little bit, but it can't purify, purify pores or anything like that. Um, I would say those with drier skin would probably end up enjoying this one a bit more uh, than those with oilier skin, but that's just my judgment. My skin is dry, so I can't, it's hard to say what oilier skin would prefer. Um, in terms of the I'm From, this has more of a water light texture and a hydrating fit. The finish is slightly more natural. Um, if you need a bit more moisture, this one is easy. You can just apply two layers of it, and a lot of people have really good luck with it that way. So uh, so then you don't have to sacrifice in terms of the, some of the tackiness and things like that. So it's easy to apply a couple layers of it without it end up looking shiny or feeling greasy. So in terms of performance, I gave the point to I'm From. Uh, in terms of cruelty-free status, they're both cruelty-free, so that is another tie. So I think at this point, they're both tied with the amount of points. So uh, we've got two more categories. Okay, next up, acneogenic ingredients. Uh, okay, the Beauty of Josen is vitamin E for acneogenic ingredients. So one, the I'm From has no acneogenic ingredients. So the I'm From wins that point. And the next point, if I'm From gets the next point, they win. If Beauty of Josen gets the next point, it's a tie, which wouldn't be as exciting. But it has happened. Has it? I don't think so. No ties. No no ties. Okay. Okay, so they both soaked in so you can kind of see what they look like. B of Josen, tacky. The I'm from, not so tacky. So you can kind of see the finishes there. Okay, in terms of the it factor, which is the last point, they're both wonderful in my opinion. Uh, they seem similar, but they're both different and unique in, in my opinion, probably who their target user would be. Um, Beauty of Josen seems like it's geared towards drier skin, while the I'm From seems like it works well for normal, oily, and acne-prone skin types. Um, in terms of which one, after using both of these now for a while, um, which one I like more was the I'm From. I just end up liking it more. It's one of my first products I've tried from I'm From, and 
probably one of my favorite products of theirs. Uh, yeah, so I have a feeling if this were in the winter, maybe my thoughts would be different because my skin might be even drier than it typically is. And maybe I'd end up liking the Beauty of Josen a little bit more, but I think when it comes down to um, rice being in the title of both of these products, the fact that I'm from it has it uh, has more of the rice in its formula. I think I end up liking that one a little bit more. Um, yeah, so yeah, overall I, I I like the I'm from more. I like the Beauty of Josen; they're both wonderful, but I'm from is a little bit more unique, and I really like. Uh, it's just a little bit more hydrating, but doesn't feel greasy or sticky in the way that the Beauty of Josen does. So, so I gave the point I'm from and the winner at this point. So here's the totals, including the ties. The Beauty of Josen has seven points and the I'm from ended up with nine points, but they're both lovely and they'll both work well. And neither of them is a bad product. They're both great. So you really can't go wrong with either. I think mean, it just depends on, um, if you've had good luck with the I'm from tour in the past, keep using it. It's nice. If you want to try something new, the Bee of Josen, it's also nice. So, yeah, you, you can't really go wrong with the either, but the I'm From is really nice. So, um, anyway, interesting from you guys if you have a chance to check out both of these and what your thoughts are. And it's interesting. They're really not dupes for each other, um, but they have similar dupes in common, such as the um, Goodall Vegan Rice Milk Toner and the Thank You Farmer Toner. So, anyway. Uh, anyway, interested in your thoughts, leave them below and I will see you guys more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye guys.